Hey everyone, here's a question from lines and angle. So we're going to solve this question by using our properties from a lines and angle. The question here is, in the given figure, L is parallel to M. These are the lines L and M, they're parallel. Find the value of A, B and C. This is the first figure. In the first figure, they have given two angles. One is 120 and the second is 40 degree. We have to find out A, B, C. We're going to use the properties here. Now since they have given, since L is parallel to M means this line I'm gonna highlight here this line will become transversal if this line is transversal then this angle 40 and this angle will be alternate interior angle and we know that alternate interior angles are equal so therefore we can say that therefore angle C will be equal to 40 degree angle C is equal to 40 degree this is since alternate interior angles are equal using the same property we can say the other one also that is if if you see this line it is a transversal since L and M are parallel line this will become transversal then this angle 120 and this angle C are again same alternate interior angles and we know alternate interior angles are equal so from there we can say that angle C will be equal to therefore angle uh, okay this is angle C is equal to 40 degree not 40 I'm sorry it's 120 degree in the previous one I have written angle C is 40 degree I'm sorry this is angle B is 40 degree so angle B is 40 degree because it's 40 and B are alternate interior angle and in second scenario angle C and 120 are alternate interior angle so we got two angles by using this property alternate interior angles are equal now how to find the third one there are two ways to find out one is if you see here it's forming a triangle this is forming a triangle and we know that sum of all angle is 180 in a triangle using that property but since we're using a lines and angle concept we're going to go by the second method that is angle lying on a straight line sum of all angle lying on a straight line is 180 degree so this is a line m it's a straight line and c a b are lying on it so if i add up all these three angle it should be equal to 180 degree so i'm gonna uh, we're gonna write down since sum of all angles lying on straight line is equal to 180 degree so using that we can say angle a or plus angle b plus angle c will be equal to 180 degree so angle a we have to find out angle b we know it's a 40 degree plus angle c is 120 degree it is equal to 180 degree so 40 plus 120 is 160 so angle a is angle a plus 160 degree is equal to 180 degree transpose is 160 to the other side so it will become it comes in subtraction so from here i'm gonna solve this here angle a is equal to 180 degree minus 160 degree so it is 20 degree so angle a is equal to 20 degree so we got all the angle a b and c we'll go to the second one in second one it is almost similar to the first question but the figure is a bit different here we go okay so here again l and m are parallel line and they have given angle a b c to find out and two angles are 45 and 55 so L and M are parallel line this means this line will be transversal if this line is transversal then angle C and this angle 55 degree are in alternate interior angle same property which we have used for the first one they will be equal so from here we can write down first they have given that L is parallel to M now since alternate angles are equal so alternate interior angles are 
equal we can say that angle C is equal to 55 degree similarly we'll get angle A is also equal to 45 degree how we got this because this line is a transversal and the 45 degree and angle A are alternate interior angle now we have to find out the third angle which is B so we got angle A this by the same using property alternate in interior angles are equal how to find out angle B again same concept angle lying on a straight line is the sum of all angle lying on a straight line is 180 degree if I add up all these three angles, the sum should be equal to 180 degree so angle A plus angle B plus angle C I'm not writing the property I have already written the first problem so angle A it is 45 degree plus angle B which you have to find out angle C is 55 degree is equal to 180 degree now 55 plus 45 is 100 so angle B plus 100 degree is equal to 180 degree transpose this to the other side 100 will become like minus 100 when transposes so angle B is equal to 180 degree minus 100 degree so 180 minus 100 is 80 so therefore angle B is equal to 80 degree so this was a simple question. I hope it's clear how we have done. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.